Hi, and welcome to this presentation about Moodle, the first steps. This is a guide for staff who are new to Moodle. Here we can see the opening page. On the top left hand corner we've got the logo and some information. Beneath it we've got links to help material and beneath that we've got a list of the online users in the last five minutes. The site news is posted in the middle and there's a calendar shown on the right hand side. You can log in either by clicking on the login link at the bottom of the screen or the top right of the screen. Log in with your normal university username and password and that will take you to your overview page. This is the equivalent of the My Modules page in Blackboard. We've got the logo and links on the left hand side as before. We've got a list of my courses in a block here and those same courses are displayed down the center of the screen as well and on the right hand side we've got the calendar some latest news and some links. Just draw your attention to this button here, edit this page. Staff and students can edit this page. They can add blocks and move things around if they wish. The ones that you're looking at at the moment are fixed. Down here on the bottom left hand corner there's a link to all courses. This is displaying all the courses that exist in Moodle. And if I scroll down and draw your attention to my course here, click on this information icon here it's opened up a little box and it's got the words demonstration area we'll pick up those words later and we can see it also says requires an enrollment key that's that little key symbol there and also the little key symbol here as well so I'm going to go back to my overview page and first thing I'm going to look at is my profile my profile can be accessed by clicking on my name Here's my profile. I've got a picture that I've uploaded earlier and I've got the words tutor account and from here I could if I wish to change my password. Edit my profile by clicking on the tab. Here's these words tutor account that we saw just a few seconds ago and there's the picture that I uploaded. Very easy to upload a picture. Just browse, find a suitable picture and upload it. Notice that my name and my email address are not editable this is the case for all staff and students logging in using the university password. This will ensure that any communication we send to the students via an email will get to them. I'll scroll down and update the profile. That takes me back to my profile and go back now to the overview page. To go into a particular module, we simply click on its title as you'd expect and this is the home page as it looks when it's first produced. Um, it's arranged in a topic outline by default and you normally get 10 topics. In the topic 0, sort of the one that isn't listed at the top here, there's a link to a special discussion forum called Announcements. Announcements are just that. Only teachers can make announcements and if you stick with the default settings, all the students will get an email copy of every announcement. They won't be able to turn it off. On the left hand side we've got various blocks. These are the default blocks that come and we've got the similar blocks on the right hand side. I would ask you to leave the default blocks in their position. This will make the help materials that we write for the students easier for them to follow. If there's a particular activity or a different particular block you don't want to use, just switch it off. On the left here in the administration block, there's a block called there's a link called settings we'll click on that and here these are the words demonstration area remember when I clicked on that little information icon it popped up the word demonstration area this is the text that's displayed so this is the text which is displayed to anyone that cares to look we've got the title of the module and the modules codes these are editable at the moment probably they won't be when we go live because if you change these it will break the link to universe Currently, this particular module is organized in topics format, but I could change it to be a weekly format, and I could change the number of weeks or topics displayed if I wished. I'll scroll down to the bottom, and if I made any changes, I could save them, but I didn't, so I'll simply cancel and return back to the module's home page find out how to add some students that's called assign roles if you click on assign roles we can see here that there's just me as the teacher and I haven't got any students now the students when we go live will be uploaded for us by universe every night and kept up to date 
but in the meantime and even so you can do this at any time you like you can add any student so if I search for the word student brought up a whole load of students there let's like take these five students here and move them across that has rolled, enrolled these five dummy students accounts onto my module bear in mind if this is a real module linked up to universe universe will remove those students that you've added each night however it does give you the opportunity of adding a student if you need to add them in an emergency to do a test or some other activity those students are now added if we go back to the home page again and just quickly check on assigned roles there we are the students have been added back to the home page again if we want to change things on this home page we need to turn editing on turn editing on is the equivalent of clicking on the build tab that we had in blackboard and you can see that there's a whole load of little icons pop up here to move the material right up and down to update or edit the material to switch it off and one that is really useful this little eye for opening and closing this will hide or show the item and on the right of that you've got the a little brown person here no groups groupings very different in Moodle to how it was in Blackboard that will be the subject of a separate presentation if you want to if we scroll down a little bit we can see we've got blocks and these are the various blocks that you can add the one that you might want to add most of all is an HTML block so just that's added and just scroll it down there and um, in the HTML block we can put any links we like so BBC is always the one that I use make it a link where are we going to link to bbc.co.uk we'll have that opening in a new window ok um, we'll call it links save changes and now if I turn the editing off we can see at the bottom of the screen here we've got a link to another page and when we click on that we will go to the BBC's page and click that off and back to the home page. Well that's the end of the presentation. Thanks for listening. Best of luck with your use of Moodle.